Well, iJot's basically the marriage of email and video chat. We all know the value of email. We use it every day. It bridges time and distance. And video chat's becoming uh, um, increasingly interesting to people as more of us get cameras on our computers. And we like the, the visual aspect of it, the ability to uh, infer emotion and energy. But the problem with video chat, pure video chat, is the person you want to chat with often isn't there. Maybe they're in a different time zone around the world, they're traveling, what have you. So we wanted to marry the two. With the distinction that we didn't want you to have to download any software and install it. So it's basically a clientless video messaging platform that's very comprehensive. Now some cameras will come with great software that will do that for you. We wanted to create a platform that would let you view your video mail in an inbox on the web wherever you are. So if you're on vacation, you might not even have your PC with you, but you could still receive iJots from friends, family, business colleagues. It's really about communications with your audience, your, your group of friends. It's not a broadcast tool. I mean, YouTube is an excellent platform, um, and it's very exciting because, if anything, it's just produced that many more people aware of video, that many more people that are ready to use both products. The business model is multiple levels, but I should also say the company publicly is about eight hours old. So. Out of the gate, we're going to offer a premium version. It'll be free. We'll have some features that are limiting the uh, duration of your recording, how long messages stay in your inbox, things like that. For the premium account, which might be the cost of a, of a fancy coffee each month, about $3.50 US. Everyone from Seattle has to make a coffee analogy. Um, but really, it, it's a very small amount on a monthly basis. We'll give you longer recording, um, likely higher quality recording, will also let you integrate with mobile devices so you can get your iJots on your cell phone. Just like you don't typically publish your email on a blog, but if you needed to communicate with a colleague or a family member, a friend, a spouse, you would use email or iJot to do that. So it's really not a broadcasting tool. It's really a communication tool for private communication. Thank you.